clip-on bars into the clamps, remembering that the clamps are loose so we can move them forward and back into our desired position. Insert that on there. Now I just need to leave a little bit at the end here and then I'll tighten these with my 5mm Allen key. You can get into like a cruise position with your arms straight or slightly bent at the elbow. I, I cheated a little bit just before I filmed this but I set them to a comfortable position. It's roughly 75 degrees. So now we've got the bars installed in our preferred position and what we need is to install the grips on each of the bars. There's actually a bolt here and that bolt holds that grip onto the bar. So we need to drill a hole to insert that bolt and attach that grip onto our new handlebar. So the best way for us to do that is to put the grip onto the bar now and relocate the hole. But we need to assemble a few things to do that to ensure that that hole is located in the exact right position. So I put the grip on just so it's past the bung on the end of the bar, the bar end. So I'm just going to thread the throttle back through again. So I've got it there in the correct position now and that throttle should work correctly. Now it doesn't actually matter whether I put the screw hole here or where around that circumference of the bar because if it's not quite in the right place of course I can undo the bolts and turn the bar around and then the throttle will be moved around further this way. need to reassemble your throttle onto your bars. Think about there, think about here is right for me. So once the throttle position's right, you can take these bolts out, put a little bit of Loctite on them, some sort of thread locker. I'm using Loctite. Screw that in place. So this part, this part goes facing forward and the screw is at the back facing towards the rider. I'm just putting the screws back into this part of the assembly. It's a T Torx 8, which fits in there and those screws go on the bottom. Just need to test that the movement's good. We've got the throttle assembly fully installed on there, it's all good to go. What we need to do is install the brakes and the brake reservoir. So to do that I'm just going to grab the clamp that came with it and a T30 Torx. Interestingly enough I'm going to install this bit upside down because that actually normally holds the mirrors and I don't have mirrors on the bike anymore because now I just race this bike. So I'm going to turn around that way and then I don't see those and so don't have to worry about blind caps. We're finished on the right hand side. This is the left hand side to do, which is the same thing. Just remember, with the throttle, the bolt goes through here. So you need to align the bolt with the handlebars to make sure you drill the hole in the correct location on the left hand handlebar. Once you've done that, you can install the controls on the left hand side. I'm not doing that because I'm racing my bike. I don't need a horn. I don't need indicators.
got the clip-ons installed, didn't take long at all. If you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, then please click the like button down below, and if you'd like to see more on the BMW R9T, then hit the subscribe button. Until then, I hope to see you out there somewhere.